Um, thank, hi, please no nigger questions. <laughs> About those two. All right. <clears throat> Black people questions are all right, though. After they laughed. Oh, that's interesting. I, I haven't really thought of that. I mean, I know that they both wanted to win at all costs, and they both uh, have the ability to sort of uh, turn a blind eye to truth uh, to make it happen. Um, but I think that's, for me, that was where the comparisons uh, ended as far as how I attempted to approach it. Um, but I, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that before. John? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it, it helped to give some context to the show and uh, it, it gives sort of an understanding of the people that we're dealing with and uh, who my pod is going in to try and uh, defeat. Uh, it was a completely brand new area of business uh, to me. I'd never known what a management consultant did. I don't know that I still do. Um, but it was uh, something that was an interesting world to delve into. And I think with everything that's going on in the news, you know, we do a lot of stories that could be ripped from the headlines. So it's great to, to have that sort of help contextualize it, yeah. Your voice just sounded like 22 women over there on the side. I didn't hear a thing you said. <laughs> no, no, it's them. It's not you. I haven't seen, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody says that they, they really enjoy it and they loved it. My daughter liked it. Uh, I think that, you know, I'm 48 years old. I think that when I look toward my kids and, and I... And I think about the relationships that they have and that they're, they're building in the schools that they're in and the people that they relate to. The sort of questions of racism that I dealt with growing up, where I grew up, are completely foreign to them. Uh, the idea that you wouldn't, you know, be, be, in a, be in a relationship with somebody because they were another race or be a friend with somebody because they were gay or, or the other ways that, you know, the prejudices that I grew up with, a lot of those to a 14-year-old and a 13-year-old are, they don't even make sense. So, you know, I, I thank hip-hop and I thank the popular culture of that for, for sort of challenging those, those, uh, those prejudices. So, I, I, again, I haven't seen the film. I'm looking forward to it. Right, thank you, Don. Thank you.